Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, Place of Binding of Isaac Adderberth. Two wins in a row. This is looking like some back-end characters, and that is frightening, and it's time for redemption! It's the Keeper. Again, not scaring me. Donde? Esta. La Biblioteca. Mi ama T-Bone. La Aranya Discoteca. R2, LC, 2QSB. Let's do this. Redemption for my earlier loss. Oh, protection from my earlier loss. Tech X right off the bat. I, I'll just be straight up with you. I would love to kick the shit out of this keeper run. Because we lost the last one. It was decent play. But largely we just never got anything worth uh, using. Like we, we didn't get anything that gave us a good chance of winning until it was too late. I guess is what I, what I should be saying there. Um, you may be wondering, by the way, why I'm not opening every room by using... Ah, uh, we don't want these, really. Uh, by using the sack of pennies, or the, the wooden nickel, and the answer is, I was mistakenly thinking that, um... It, oh my god, magic mush as well? I mistakenly thought that it was actually going to, uh... Cannibalize the charge from Tech X. I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. I guess we could shoot Tech X extremely quickly. And then pop it while all the other enemies die. This is a disgustingly powerful keeper run. Um, and I I mean that in obviously the best sense of the word. You know, we shoot immediately, every enemy dies. All the item rooms until this one have been amazing. Um, we obviously can probably afford to take a little bit of this right here. Now, the most important thing, we still want to, you know, focus in on those... Uh, that time it cannibalized him. I think that was a misplay on my part. Um, we still want to focus in on like the obvious things that you want on a uh, on a keeper run. If we can get nuns habit, that's still great. If we can get uh, swallowed penny, that's still great. One of these is a library. Okay, I'd like a bomb. We don't need Counterfeit Penny yet, but we might- Okay, we, let, like, let's take advantage of Counterfeit Penny. We certainly don't need uh, Shop Key yet, either, to be fair. It's not a library, but it is uh, interesting nonetheless. Joker, Two of Diamonds, Question Mark Card. Gonna take us to 24 cents, even though that might seem like a little of a needless use of this card. The reason is, I want to see if we maybe we can buy something in here. And actually, getting the 9 volt is good. Not amazing, but good. Because it does allow us to charge up... Sure, why not? It does allow us to charge up uh, the wooden nickel on rooms. Now, okay, I, I'm out of sync right here. Do I expect that to work out exceptionally for us? No, not really. You know, unless we're on a, a very long room. Uh, the odds of us actually getting a play out of that are pretty low, but... That's okay. You know, it's still quite good right now. It, it, it's extremely good right now. So we have HP there, um, which means we can actually take Rotten Baby and have Deal with the Devil precedent, as ridiculous as that may sound. Down to the next floor. I have to be honest, every bone in my body is like, just call this. Call it a win. It is a win. It's just... There is still the beyond theoretical chance that I could fuck it up. But it should be borderline unfuck upable. You know, we, we didn't take shop key with us, and I think that's completely okay. If you're perturbed by the fact that I'm leaving pennies on the ground, I don't do it just to mess with you. I do it to leave like a little breadcrumb trail that we can, uh, you know, go back on ourselves in order to get uh, health if necessary. And I think that that's a pretty important aspect. Uh, that we can take advantage of on the keeper runs, and I think it's it's overlooked a lot of the time. This is like, in a way, it's I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing because it's not a bad thing, but in a way, it's a keeper run that like nobody is gonna be impressed with if it turns out being a win. Of course, rooms like this can still mess with us, but as long as you stay, you know, relatively calm, you're probably okay. Recall, you can't really use the Joker card to um, get out of this curse room safely. But yeah, like, and accidents can still happen. I, it's not a complete abject failure if this run uh, loses. You know, it's not an indication that we don't know what we're doing at all. Accidents still happen, and of course as the keeper, you're... You know, any accident can be catastrophic. But with that all being said, we do have a, a really, re really great chance of winning. Almost to the point that the greatest indication I can give you of how strong this run is, 
is that people are probably going to be like, this doesn't even count as a keeper run because it's so easy. You know, the RNG is so... Like, it, it's still... You're the keeper, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're not a keeper or something like that, but, you know, you're, you're, you don't have the same level of challenge associated with a normal keeper run. And as a result, eh, you only get like 60% credit for this one. Starting to feel pretty good about that counterfeit penny uh, pickup. I would feel better if we got some keys to go along with it, but uh, certainly it's... Helping to maximize the amount of money that's at our disposal right now. It's like the most dead endish area I've ever seen. It's an exaggeration to say the least, but... Okay, there's a key. And again, the curse room frightens me. In theory, that could be the secret room over here. Samson's chain, I think, is actually bad here. Uh, we, we didn't have to use a bomb for that. And you might think that I'm just being a, a little too picky, maybe, and maybe I am, but uh, the fact that Samson's chain could hit, you know, a mushroom that blows up in our face, or, you know, could hit a rock on the womb that just shoots bullets and hits us in the face and kills us, you know, th this is stuff that I have to think about right now, when we have such a guaranteed win. Uh, we stick with counterfeit penny for sure right now. And by such a guaranteed win, of course, I, I don't mean to undermine what I said earlier, it's just that the win is, is likely. All right, we do have our last item room, but no key to back it up. We have seen our shop, but again, no key. Now we have a key. Where do we go with the key? You go to the shop because Nun's Habit is still so valuable. But I think this is definitely like on the borderline of the most powerful runs I've ever had as the Keeper. It, it would be an amazingly powerful run if we were here on like the third floor as any character with Tech X and Magic Mushroom. But the Keeper, you know, being so hobbled most of the time makes this even better. So that's not HP, it's just going to be a bunch of flies. Uh, and I guess maybe like lowered tier delay or something, I'm not sure. Either way, even Carrion Queen, a relatively difficult boss, is going to be pretty easy for us to get here. And we get, you know, the other baby item. Um, sure, we got two keys now. We're way ahead of schedule, like seven minutes ahead of schedule. Probably six or five and a half by the time we finish. Unicorn Stump is tempting, especially considering how ubiquitous pennies are. Like, basically run down the balance sheet here. Why do we stick with Wooden Nickel? Because of the fact that it, uh, on average, once every two rooms, it's going to give us HP. What do we use that HP for? Well, to keep ourselves alive and, you know, obviously recharge our health, but Degas just gives us flies. Uh, additionally, we can use that to buy stuff from the shop. Now, what do we get if we get Unicorn Horn? Well, we get invincibility every single room. Uh, which is great, don't get me wrong. However... Let's open this as well. Eh, we got a lot of money out of it. Um, however, we don't really have orbitals. You know, we'd be cutting into our fly economy. We'd be taking away our tears for the length of time that we're using Unicorn uh, Stump. I really feel that, unfortunately... And, and it is unfortunate right now, but unfortunately, it's just the wrong call. Um, and I'm not going to use the Joker card. We didn't get a deal with the Devil, but uh, a Joker card is the wrong decision, in my opinion, because of the fact that it leads to, um, well, getting a deal with the Devil and then maybe being on one HP. We didn't get any other HP on this floor, so I really want to save the Joker card for an opportunity when we didn't get a deal with the Devil and we have the means with which to replace what is lost via a deal with the Devil. So I think I've, I've run through that fairly uh, cogently for my own worldview right now. We're looking pretty good. I don't mean to needlessly use $5 words, but, you know, what are they, 10 cent words? Maybe when they come out of my mouth, they're 10 cent words, but, you know, it's not... Strictly to be like, oh, check out his vernacular. It's to aid in the most unambiguous communication possible while still, you know, maintaining a certain level of readability. I, I value clarity. Let's put it that way. I don't know why. If you say it like that, if you say, I don't want my speech to be misinterpreted, you sound like a like you're a politician who's ordering a hit on somebody. If you say, I value clarity, you sound like a fucking serial killer, so I don't know. I, I, I like people to understand what my words is. How's that? Little folksy charm. Uh, I don't think we want to use a bomb and a key to get money. Money is, is fine by us right now. Like, we're completely set financially, and uh, it's probably better for us to save our keys, even though we do have a decent number of them. Rotten Baby's doing great work. What are the keys to the success for us right now? 
I mean, we've got the keys to success. We got a key ring that's full of successful keys. All we need to do is uh, not drop the key ring down a fucking storm drain or something like that, you know? And if we can manage to maintain that, then we should be completely fine here. We'll extend our streak, and immediately, like, this streak would have almost more legitimacy than our 19 streak because there was a keeper run on it. Even with the keeper run being this easy, it still fits the bill as far as I'm concerned. This completely makes up for the awful keeper run we had earlier. Okay, so technically I made a mistake here, and I knew it as soon as I picked it up. We shouldn't have picked up SMB Super Fan before we used the Joker. It's, and we might not be punished for it, but this might have cost us a chance at a deal with the Devil item. Um, but we might have actually lost a chance at a deal with the Devil, like, immediately right there. So, uh, in a weird twist of fate, Blank Card Joker is actually not particularly good for us, because we'd be getting rid of the Wooden Nickel. So we can't, uh... Can't really afford to do that. We could we could basically pay 15 cents for an extra use of the Joker card by pay, by buying blank card, but we're not gonna take it with us. And Gish is like the first item we've we've really mostly struck out on here, as far as I'm concerned. Still not bad, but deal with the devil would go a long way towards helping me. No deal with the devil and no HP. So we'll take a little Gish and head down. It's my own fault for taking damage and thus guaranteeing that we had a lower chance of getting a deal with the devil, but still. Now, one thing I haven't talked about, because normally, uh, I guess I'd prefer to use other cards for this. Um, we could completely go for a uh, boss rush teleportation. Could use a bomb for a key there, but I don't really care. Um... You know, we're, we're low on bombs, too, and we may need them. Small Rock is still a possibility for us, for sure. Um, but yeah, we, we could actually teleport out of Boss Rush. The only thing that's a little dicey there is if we teleport out of Boss Rush, you know, into Krampus, and then we find ourselves low on HP uh, on the Krampus fight without a charge or something like that. Um, how could that happen? It's actually pretty easy, you know. The best Boss Rush item sometimes is locked behind spikes. We don't have a permanent ability to fly, for sure, as of right now. So we, uh, you know, walk on the spikes to get an item, immediately teleport out. Bob's your uncle, you know, we're on one HP for a Krampus fight. Now, there's not a good reason not to do it, because there's a decent chance that that just doesn't factor in at all. However, it's just a good reason to maybe have a little bit of extra pause here. And if you had told me at the start of this Keeper run that we would be in, uh, you know, boss rush territory at 11 minutes... I would have been, I wouldn't say I wouldn't have believed you, but I would, I would have been surprised, to say the least. It's really on the back of, uh, I mean, we've got some really, really good items, but let's be honest. This is the Tech X Magic Mushroom Show. Blue Map's fine. Uh, Two of Hearts doesn't mean anything. Champion Belt is good. Uh, none of the other ones are good, so I think we buy cards and see if we can get something interesting. Justice... Well, we're obviously going to take the Joker with us. You know what? Let's donate some. Be nice to the game. The game's been very nice to us. It's kind of a waste of restock, but we can't buy another item after we buy, you know, Hourglass or Boomerang anyway, so... We'll just donate some money and say, you know, thank you for your service here. Blue Map's good. You know, it gives us an idea of where we should go uh, in order to finish the floors as efficiently as possible. Yes, efficiently in this case does also mean, you know, as quickly as possible, but 25 cents in a single secret room is very good. Uh, this room kind of sucks, but at least bombs and keys. We're going to go donate some more money. We may actually be able to use Keeper to get over 600 uh, in our donation machine, which is a minor victory. I'm sure nobody cares about this donation machine as much as I do. Um, but we've never gotten it back up to 999 since the time that I blew it up accidentally. Now, maintaining a balance of 500 to 600 is pretty impressive, you know? If you had a balance of 500 to $600 in your bank account, and you were living life exactly the way you wanted to, if you could keep that up until, you know, the inevitable heat death of the universe, no harm, no foul. You might feel a little anxious about it, and I wouldn't blame you necessarily, but, you know, you, you still got... That means you have extra. It's probably not a good attitude to have, financially speaking. It's certainly not the attitude I have, but... You know, I hope you understand what I'm saying here. We've been able to win a lot of runs while also building up our donation machine or keeping it level, which I think is uh, 
is an indication that it's not like it was catastrophic or anything. Okay, so we do want... Take the Polaroid first, then see what's going on in here. It's a Thame, we can't take it. But we can teleport out. And the Relic is... Once every four rooms, it'll give us flies. And this gives us some weird-ass bombs. So I guess we will take weird-ass bombs and head down to the next floor. 13 minutes heading down to the womb one. Very, very, very good. Now, there's always that this room in particular can be real dicey. As far as uh, avoiding damage goes. We did get paid out there, so that was, that was nice. Those are really the most dangerous rooms for us, so... Uh, as long as we can not have, like, two of those in a row... I'll feel pretty good. Small rock, please. Luck up. Oh my god, a black market, maybe? It's an actual black market. With restock. Um, there is, like, a... There's, there's a greedy dude down here. Now, we can't afford to take anything, unfortunately. Now, this is where you're like, if you're the lost, you're stoked. There is a situation in which we could afford to take something, and that's... Uh, I shouldn't have used that. That was stupid. That's if we get um, Judgment to pay out with HP. He paid out with the Compass instead, which is also good. If we get HP on the floor, we can always come back here and be like, you know, what do we take? I don't know, maybe BFF? Maybe Stopwatch? You might think that I'm... You know, silly enough to go do the hush fight if we get stopwatch. I assure you that's not the case. Chariot, very useful, like, you know, backup card in case things go terribly wrong for us on a single room. If we don't get HP, so be it. We still got the compass out of that uh, black market. And we just spend money on it, something we didn't really care about regardless. So, um, I think that's still a, a very, very good use of our, well, what was effectively just time there. Runes. Burkano, great rune to get. Not to keep. Degas. We'll use it for flies. Hagalaz does nothing. Burkano, great rune to get, but now we need a rune to keep. Hagalaz, blank rune. I guess we hold blank rune and then maybe it'll become Yera. Maybe it'll become Perthro. We're gonna bank on Yera just because I would like to. Battery charges are ridiculous here. No deal with the devil. Man, I've really squandered that. Uh, either way, we're still getting a tears upgrade combined with some extra flies. We'll head down to the next floor. Honestly, came a little close on the uh, the Wallmaster room in there. But apart from that, very, very safe. Golden Bombs is actually kind of intriguing. Uh, what am I doing with this blank rune? Basically, it's a Hail Mary. I'm hoping that it's going to end up being... Uh, the Yara rune later. Or, or Perthrow, but, you know, the problem is you use Yara and Perthrow in different circumstances. So, you know, if, if we wanted... We want it to be either, but we want to know which one it is so we actually use it appropriately. Um, but that's not likely slash plausible slash possible even, so... I'm just gonna, for now, move on. Pins, I think. We got pins on this room. I gotta admit, you know, the further we get into this run, the less likely it is that we, uh, that we die, you know, just from sheer sample size, like, we're running out of rooms to die on, which is awesome. We're, we're not gonna do this room, I've learned my lesson, you know? That, that room is one of the few rooms that actually has a chance to end our lives, so if we can just bomb our way out of it instead, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we shouldn't have used it twice, that was a, a hopefully unsubstantial misplay. Fill the screen with bullshit. Oh, it's a champion. No wonder. I was going to say, if he got hit once, he should be dead. But we're going to be uh, moving on to the cathedral at like 17 minutes. That's amazing. A little terrifying because it feels like we're doing something wrong. I don't think we are, but it sort of feels like we are. Onsus, doesn't matter. Yera matters. Burkano, good rune to get. Hagalaz, useless. Hagalaz, useless. So we use Blank Rune. It was Ansus, which is, of course, not very good for us here. And we take Yera with us for the future. Lovely. So we gotta kill um, that aspect of the mom fight. We drop a bomb in the middle. 
We had extra HP there, so I wasn't too concerned. I would have rather not gotten hit, though. This is gonna be... I don't want to kill my chickens before they hatch. But right now, let's be honest, this is looking like a 20-minute uh, keeper run. Which is maybe not unprecedented, but definitely like a 1 in, you know, 250 sort of run. So, uh, I'm feeling pretty happy about that. I'm gonna not rush, necessarily, just, you know, expedite the process of making it down a little further here. You know, the faster we can make it uh, to that Isaac fight, the more confidence I have that I can uh, avoid completely shitting the bed. Keep in mind, when we died on our last Keeper run, we died at like 20 minutes. I think we were on the caves too. So, this run, I don't know, somewhere on the order of a quadrillion times more powerful. Thank God I left a penny back there. That's all I'm going to say about that. We probably could fairly easily beat Isaac um, without uh, taking damage. That being said, and actually we're still on a little bit of a weird track here considering that uh, we, we don't have any recourse to gain HP if we get hit on the Isaac fight. So we do have to be pretty cautious, and like, the faster we can make it through this phase of the Isaac fight, the better our lives are. So we thankfully went through it, and I just realized actually that 9-volt pickup, if it had paid out there, it would have been worth the 15 cents we spent on it earlier just for peace of mind, but um, it didn't pay out there, so now I just feel, you know, insulted. Either way, though, we've made it down to the next floor, 19 minutes as the keeper to keep a young streak alive. The body. Just flies. Serpent's Kiss. Good damage, poison, but also flies. Juicy Sack is fine. Um, getting closer to Beelzebub, maybe, with Distant Admiration. Robo Baby helps, but is not good. Scatter Bombs actually scare me a great deal, which is why we're going to take them. Maybe Beelzebub? Hey, there we go. So now we can fly. We'll take the body. Um, there are situations in which it was worse to take the body right now. In fact, I, I don't think it was good to take the body. Uh, I shouldn't have picked that up. Um, I don't think it was good to pick up the body at all. And hopefully my reasoning for that is relatively sensible, but... Um, it, it largely just comes down to... Maybe we could have respawned as, like, if we get Lazarus Rag or something like that, we could have respawned as Lazarus. Uh, and then we would want the extra HP to, to work with us. Dude, there's no way you're making it out of this room, so... We might as well just give up on that pipe dream. Now, don't make the same mistake. Leave some HP for yourself. We're hoping to get, um, you know, Serpent's Kiss does poison damage, but it also gives us the chance to get Demon Hearts, obviously. Demon Hearts do nothing for us as the Keeper except generate flies, but our flies can be pretty potent. So if we can just... Wow, he almost hit, like, dinged me with a fly right there. Um, we have no need for money, so don't even pick it up. You know, the luck, luck upgrades are very secondary. If it's greed, it's greed. It's not greed, it's a double keeper room, actually. So just keep firing shots in there. You know, one keeper is several times easier to fight than, than two keepers. We have an item. It's, <laughs> it's fucking Lazarus Rags, dude. What are the odds? Moon card. Well, teleporting can be a, a defense mechanism at times on a keeper run. Well, okay, it, it, as if to say, like, don't get too excited about your run, that one incredibly niche scenario that you brought up um, could still happen. Sure, we could die, come back as Lazarus, be, sh like, salty that we don't have the body available, and then take a hit and die, right? That could happen. The truth of the matter is, though, that looks a lot more imp impressive than it actually uh, was as a result of the fact that there's a number of different items that could have accomplished the same thing. Like, if we had gotten, uh, you know, Dark Judas, we would have said the same thing. But it's just the fact that it was exactly the item we called that makes it so much better. All right. All right, all right. We're going to finish this Keeper run. 22 minutes or so. And we got HP uh, out of the wooden nickel. So we're going to try to stay, like, relatively... Close to that side of the map. Sometimes that's not going to be uh, super doable, but we're already done. Great run, dude. 22-minute keeper run. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.